To be a sports lover takes a great deal of commitment. A win makes another week on the planet worthwhile. A loss can be like losing a member of the family or worse. But who is Australia's greatest sporting fanatic? And which sport does he follow? Turn it around! Roll on! Come on! You got the ball, Ref. What ball? Come on! Keep it going! Keep it rolling! My name is Andrew Hajiwanu. Who I am? I'm a passionate supporter of Sydney Olympic. When we came to Australia about 53 years ago, my uncle and my father brought me to the first game, Prague and Panhellenic, which was the name previously to Sydney Olympic. I saw so many people there. They were so passionate, so excited. I think the bug, the bug, the bug must have gotten me as well. I've been there ever since. Les Murray interviewed me about 20 or 30 years ago, and he reckons I've he'd never seen or heard somebody loud or passionate more than me on the planet. Get your act together! For the back foot now, come on! Every match time I get up, I go for my usual, my usual walk, have a bit of breakfast, come to the ground about 10, as I'm a volunteer, and I help in any way I can. Whether, whether it be getting water for the referees, preparing the, putting the nets up, or helping with the ground, whatever, I'm always there. From 10 o'clock in the morning to the game ends. Go, going to the game, the match, so, it's not, it's not, so for some people, they're going to church every Sunday. It's, it's passionate, you know. You've got to have it here. The, the club itself was brought up by Greek migrants that come to the country because they love the sport. But at the moment, we're not, we're not just Greek, we mainstream. Everyone is welcome. Anybody, race, colour, whatever. Everyone is welcome. welcome to our club. A lot of water has gone under the bridge in those 40 or 50 year, years. And a lot of players have come and gone. Peter Catholis, Peter Escopolis, Chris Kalenzis, Marshall Sapa was a great player, Tim Patikas, Troy Helpin. To me, it was like my family, my kids coming and going, you know. We've been a very successful and a very big uh, club with their following and their supporters over the years. I think we've won two or three NSL titles, two or three NSL Cups, and uh, one of the last grand finals we played was a Subiaco in Perth, in front of about 50,000 people. There was, there was about 500 of us, and we beat them 1 0. Turf. That was, that was a special memory. I'll I cherish very much. We we're not as big as we were, but what kept us going? A small group of small hardcore people that helped the club at hard like myself. And we kept, we kept it, we kept the club together. We kept it on the map. We kept survive, like survival. And uh, that's why we're here today. Well, I've been here since I was at the age of 12, 12 and a half, and I'll be 65 in December this year. Well, the most important things in my life are. My family, of course, a few good uh, friends and relatives, and above all, the Sydney Olympic team.